talking here at the kindergarten consultor and uh, they have four kids. The two oldest ones wasn't in the kibbutz. The two youngest ones been in here. 15 years old Carmel, his blessed memory, and 13 years old Adal that have been in here. What the terrorists did, they actually knocked the wind, knocked the door, say Yehudi Yehudi Iftah el Bab, no one applied, they went in, they break in, and then they went to the shelter. Avida, the father, all the door, the handle very, very strong. They couldn't manage to get in. So they shot all over the door. Now they shot on the mechanism of the handle, no one could uh, go outside or inside. But all the family injured from a massive bullet. Now, they, went, they burned the house from inside. It's different burning, they didn't put the powder, but they opened the gas of the stove, they rolled a tire in, and they burned it very close to the shelter itself, that everything been melted. Now the family injured from bullets, and also choked from the smoke. So the terrorists tried to penetrate actually the shelter, they put explosions in the shelter, but it didn't uh, penetrate the shelter. So they wait till the, the family will open the window. Now they open the window. They shot on them and throw three grenades inside. But why I choose exactly this uh, this house? Not just regarding people murdered in here and how things happen, to show you the resilience of our community, to show you a story of 13 years old, Adar, a brave, courageable, insightful girl that took took sheets, took builds, took whatever she had and she had revised delicates to help her, uh, her siblings. When she done it, she also uh, communicated with her family outside the kibbutz. Everyone asked me that, so I said it. She communicated with her brothers and also with the family outside the kibbutz and also with the mother's group that was in the kibbutz, but no one can help regarding everyone in the same situation. But the, we have the the communication and uh, we also have the records and for 12 hours they fought for their life inside till they've been evacuated so i want you to get inside with me you can video i will share with you the voice messages i will translate and then i will share with you what's up with the community now what is the future and about this specific family